What is going on people? It is your boy Daddy Mac and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield team builder. As you can see, we're going to do this a little bit differently, so hopefully it works out a little bit better. The reason being is because number 1, I want you guys to see the EV spread I have. I want you to see the items and I also want you to see the nature, moves, things of that nature. And at the same time, I want to bring a little bit of uh, surprises to what we're going to be bringing rather than it showing all six Pokemon that we're gonna be bringing and then you guys already see and you guys are probably gonna click out of that. But uh, without further ado, our team builder today is going to consist of Cinderace. In my previous video with the final or Shifu battle, I gave a little bit of a hint as far as who it was that we were going to build around next, and that Pokemon is no other than Gigantamax Cinderace. So I'm gonna start off with the item that we have here. This is an all-out attacking Cinderace. We got Life Orb, and the ability that we have is Libero. And as you can see, the first thing, uh, the first thing I want to mention here is this is the only Pokemon that has a Dynamax level of 10 because this is going to be the Pokemon that we're building around in particular. Really quick, you guys can see I have 252 attack EVs and 252 speed EVs and thrown the rest into the defensive stats. Now, I mentioned this is an all-out attacker. I don't have high jump kick, I'm afraid, because I didn't uh, breed... Uh, did I... Is this a hyper train or did I actually breed it? Uh, I cannot see right now, can I? Yeah, I, I can't see it, but... Oh, there, it, it told me. I received the egg, so I did breed this, but I didn't want to breed for a high jump kick Cinderace. I've done so in the past for a Blaze one, and I was just a little bit too lazy to breed for a high jump kick Cinderace. So the first move that we're going to be running here is U-Turn. Given that Cinderace is a very fast Pokemon, U-Turn is going to be a little bit of a pivot. So we're probably going to start Cinderace a lot of the time to pivot out of there but it also depends on the situation that we're going to be in. And the second move that we have here is actually going to be Gunk Shot for Fairy Weaknesses. Given that we're gonna be Libero, it's really nice to have a stab attack for everything. So Cinderace is gonna be seeing a lot of usage just like Greninja was in previous generations because of the Libero here. So Gunk Shot is there for those pesky fairy types running around the generation and I'm talking about you Clefairy. The next move that we have is a little bit of a substitution for our move uh, High Jump Kick, and this is Low Sweep. What's nice about this move is that it lowers the target speed stats. At the same time, this does give me, um, it doesn't give me priority, but it gives me stab because of Libero there. So that is also nice to have. And I also just wanted to make sure I had a fighting type move for the Max Knuckle whenever we do Gigantamax. The next move, and this is Cinderace's signature move and i feel like every cinder race needs to have this attack and this is pyro ball 120 base power is actually a lot of damage that this uh, thing is going to be dishing out to my opponents here so we 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 have pyro ball low sweep gunk shot and u-turn just to recap uh just leave that alone why can't oh that's why and i think that's everything we need to discuss about the cinder race here now the second pokemon that i'm bringing to this team builder is a regular slow bro we guys or we guys what what is we guys but you guys saw me use a galarian slow bro and galarian slow bro is actually really really good you guys should try it out if you guys haven't already you guys should check out the team builder if you are not sure how to use galarian slow bro it's the urshifu team builder and it just does a lot of damage it actually surprised me a lot because the role galarian slowbro plays is quite different than the role regular slowbro plays i need some water i should have brought some water and that's what i was going to do but anyways this is going a little bit more of a defensive slowbro we got rocky helmet to dish out some additional damage to those physical attackers and you guys are going to see my uh, ev spread is solely specific uh, specific towards hp and the defensive stat, this is gonna be our physical wall with a regenerator ability, which is gonna be really nice because we do have slack off, but regenerator, regenerator stop talking so fast, Daddy Mac. So regenerator is really good because if I were to switch out, uh, let's say I'm running in really low red health and I switch out, it's gonna come back in with some yellow health there, just for an example, and that's actually really useful. Um, you guys are actually gonna be surprised as far as what our physical and defensive wall uh, are running but also you're going to be surprised as far as what this core is going to look like so we got calm mind uh, i got little aria here with me so uh, don't mind her 
Uh, she's just chilling out over here. But uh, we got Calm Mind. Uh, that way we can at least get our special defensive stat up in case we really, really, really need to. We got Ice Beam for coverage. Slack Off as our recovery move. And we also got Skull to try to burn these physical attackers and just, just cripple them. And then... Uh, you see that it's a rash nature there i uh, wonder oh you guys okay so i had to cut some parts off here because i actually exposed my whole team and that's not the purpose of this video here but one of the things i was going to say is that you guys see that this is a rash natured slow bro in all reality as you can see right there it's a bold nature with a i, I gave it a bold mint for that and i really didn't want to breed for a regular slow bro so i really just got the one that the diglet person gave me and I leveled it up all the way. And of course, this is a regular Jolly Nature Cinder Race. The next Pokemon that we are going to be running here is a Tangrowth. And this is exactly what I was talking about. My walls, uh, my defensive core at least. We got Rocky Helmet's Physical Assault Vest Special. And Tangrowth is just one of those Pokemon that intrigues me. It's a little bit difficult to use given that its stats are kind of all over the place. But one of the one of the ways this Pokemon is used a lot is Assault Vest defensively. As you can see, we are going to be an adamant nature here. But within our EV spread, we are HP and special defensive oriented with the rest going into defense. And this Pokemon also has Regenerator, which is really nice because like Slowbro, if Tango Growth goes out, and it's taking some damage i can just switch out and recover a little bit of a uh, recover a little bit of its hp given that assault vest doesn't allow us to recover our hp well on in addition to that we also got giga drain uh in order to get a little bit more recovery sludge bomb is there because it has a 30 percent. i think it's 30 percent chance to yeah i believe it is 30 percent chance in order to poison my opponent so that's why we're running sludge bomb knock off to knock off any items the opponent might have an earthquake for coverage given that there's a lot of rillaboom running around in this generation earthquake won't necessarily be used if there's a rillaboom around so just take note of that and i did mention that this is going to be an adamant nature tanga graph there the fourth i think this is the fourth pokemon in our team yeah it indeed is the fourth pokemon in our team is actually going to be the marowak the regular marowak we used a, a Alolan Marowak not too long ago, and it just did a lot of damage. So one of the things that sparked my curiosity when it comes to the Marowak is, is regular Marowak as good as the Alolan Marowak? And I know they're two different Pokemon as far as typing goes. Same exact stats. So typing does a lot for a Pokemon. They both are immune to, in a way, to the electric type moves. One because this one is ground and the other one just has lightning rod. But they both can run Thick Club, which doubles the attack of Cubone or Marowak. And as you can see here, this EV spread is the exact same that, as we were running with the Alolan Marowak. So we got 252 attack. Uh, I don't remember the HP stat, if I'm being 100% honest with you. I would pull the app up right now but um you know what let me do that for you guys so we got 252 attack and we we can see that we are adamant nature and to answer your guys's curiosity as far as what the hp ev spread is it is actually 214 and 44 uh, in speed investment there rockhead and you guys are going to see that we're running double uh, double edge because of the rockhead ability which really doesn't give them any recoil so that's going to be a good move to click every once in a while rock tomb for the speed advantage fire punch for coverage i know this thing doesn't get flare blitz so that's what that's why fire punch is there and bone meringue which is equivalent to an earthquake except that this thing breaks subs and also it has 10 less accuracy nevertheless though it's a, it's a pretty good move to have on on any marowak again this is an adamant nature marowak the fifth pokemon in this team is actually going to be heracross you guys already saw this is a jolly nature heracross with choice scarf which actually doubles the speed uh but only allows the use of one move as you guys know we got 252 attack 252 speed with the moxie ability heracross moxie heracross and moxie crocodile are some of my favorite pokemon to use so i'm really excited to use this pokemon we got earthquake for more coverage uh, i know we have three three ground coverage moves already but 
you know i think it's necessary sometimes we got close combat on your boy heracross which is going to be our primary stab we got mega horn in case we need to click this and we got stonish for more coverage there the final pokemon in this team is going to be a choice specs porygon z first things first uh one of the things i want to mention is that this pokemon has analytic it has a base speed of 80 uh, so it's not the fastest pokemon in the world but if we get out sped something is going to get blown back we are timid nature just in case we can't get the out speed it's okay Arya. it's okay uh, we got 252 special attack and 252 speed and then from there we got shadow ball thunderbolt ice beam and tri attack i think Arya is getting a little bit fussy but there you have it that is going to be our team make sure you guys leave a like if you guys think this team is going to prevail or if you guys got a little bit of surprises but also comment down below on any changes that you guys would make on this team and subscribe to my channel we will be having our first wi-fi battle with this team on friday so stay tuned i will see you guys next time